Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips episode 115, uh, brought to you every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton. We have with us today a special guest, Hayden. Welcome, Hayden. Uh, great to be here, Anton, and excited about uh, today's tip. I am too. Uh, today's tip is something that I think so many people, um, they, they want to know how do you do this. And, and it really came about uh, probably way back in Apex 5.1 or something, but with the introduction of modal pages. Um, so when you have a modal page, you, you and I'll say you lose um, the, when you close the, when you just close a modal dialog, you lose that success message. If you, you know, in normal pages, you edit, uh, edit a record, you click, Apply changes, and what do you see? Let's uh, let's demonstrate it. Oh, great! Yeah, we'll add your screen, and you've got one. Uh, I guess we can show it. Yeah. So uh, let me f first exhibit the complaints that people have, um, and, and I think it's a legit complaint. So uh, I've got a form and report, very traditional. Um, at on this form, um, I have defined. Uh, yeah, on, on this uh, form, I've defined a, um, a process, and in that process, I have a success message. Yeah. So one might reasonably expect that when I submit this form, I will be greeted with this success message, just as I would if this were a normal page. And by normal, I mean, I'm not um, being judgmental. I just mean <laughs> uh, n n not a modal dialogue. Right. So, uh, and so, uh, but however, if I submit this uh, form, I get no success, success message at all. Right. Yeah. So that that's, so I'm looking for a way that would be sort of generic and easy to do. And I don't have to re-implement it a hundred times um, for at one for every page. How do I make this happen? Yeah. Using just standard Apex functionality. I, I know I could write a plugin or something, but Apex functionality straight out of the box. Yes, so let's, um, I think we have a pretty decent solution. So um, the, the solution is inspired by the fact that, by something that people might have noticed in the closed dialog process of all, mo of all modals when they're auto-created, there is a um, setting called item search term. And so we're gonna and make use of that setting. Come again? We're gonna make use of that. We're gonna make use of that setting. And the help for this, uh, for this feature is quite uh, sort of, uh, implies the answer. Um, it says something about a, a dialogue closed event. Um, and when you use the set value out on the dialogue closed event, you can you can summon that dialogue uh, return item. So uh, let's put a pin in that and let's take a look at what we've actually uh, developed here. So on page zero, meaning that we can uh, maximize how universal this solution is, um, I have a uh, two Page, hidden page zero items, <coughs> both of which, and this is important, um, have a storage of memory only. And they're not secure. So and they're not secure. So, uh, change them. so you change, turn that off, the value protected. Yep. It actually seems to work even if I do have it turned off. Yeah, the problem is if you if you navigate away from the parent page, you'll you'll have a problem there. But yeah. So yeah. So uh and then there are two dynamic actions taking place in the space. So first off, just as the help suggested, there's a dialogue closed. Um, th there's an event listening for the dialogue closed event. And this is critical. Um, these, uh, the, it's listening against the Jav JavaScript expression of document, meaning that it's going to react every time any dialogue is closed anywhere in the application. OK. And the other and then, one? Uh, it, again, as the um, uh, help suggested, is using the set value um, process to uh, uh, solicit a, um, a dialogue return item called P0 success and pass it to P success dialogue. And then, meanwhile, uh, the P success dialogue is listening to a change event that um, is making sure that, that it's not null, and then it runs this JavaScript. So Apex that yep. message show show page success. So what you're right. doing is you're showing the page success of P zero success dialog. Right. So all I have to do is back on this form, I just uh, add a new process before the close event um, call uh, set P zero success. And here I'm going to 
uh, define P0 success to equal, um, and I, I recommend uh, not uh, hard code an answer, but rather apex underscore application dot G print success message. Okay, so what's this give us? So this will just uh, uh, capture any uh, defined success message. So in this ah, case, the record processed. Uh, so, so now I'll run look. this. Why didn't that work? Oh, yeah. So maybe I did it in the wrong form. Let's take a quick look. Page four. Oh, and I need to return the. Oh, uh, we need to return that item. Ah. Yeah. P zero six. Excellent. Uh, not no colon. Okay. Just just take remove the colon. Yes, and uh, we are done. <coughs> Forgive me for cheating a little bit because we're going over time. Uh, but I think we're there. Now we're this again. Great. Beautiful. Now, so that's our five minutes. Um, and I think a couple of things. We've got at least one comment on this that I want to react to. Um, and maybe we'll recap the components as well. So that's five minutes. If you really came in just for the five minutes and you got... You, you understood everything, you can bounce. We've got a couple more little things though. So we'll recap and we'll respond to a couple questions. And um, uh, and I have a little um, XKCD of the week. Um, so um, so first the, the questions, using branching. So Hayden, what, what would happen if you used branching? Uh, so branching would uh, refresh the destination page. Yes. So the, the, you would you would, in fact, get the record processed, but the whole page would refresh, not just the region. And I mean, uh, that's, you know, that's a little bit of a, you know, I, I really do like the, the the dialogue closes. The whole page doesn't refresh. If you've if you've navigated the page or scrolled it, it doesn't have to go back to the top or the bottom and, and those kinds of things. So I, I, I do like that, that dynamic aspect of the page. Yeah. Um, the next one. The Apex team has promised to de deliver this declaratively. Absolutely, we almost we we were we we kind of skipped through it, but clearly, what should happen is in this closed dialogue, you should be able to say return message or something like in the closed dialogue process. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. Uh, the fact that I have a success message here implies that I want to display it. So, so why do I have to do this extra stuff? Right, right. Um, absolutely. So, uh, but I think the other thing about this is is um, it really was a sort of an exercise in, in how Apex works and, and the things you can do if you use page zero, all you have to do subsequently to this is set P zero success and add it to the, um, to the return item and, and things happen. Um, uh, so why two different items? Isn't the item containing the message enough? Um, the answer is yes. I think you could probably do this with one you could have P0 success, pass it back to P0 success, but it's it's a little bit less a little bit less clear because you're here you need you need a return item into an item. And, and so it's I think it just makes it more clear. It may actually work if these were the same item name, but for me it's just more clear that the the P0 success is what you're dealing with on the dialogue page. Yeah, and the affected. I don't know. What what's your thought on that, Hayden? Well, I, I was going to make the same point. Um, uh, I, I'm not disagreeing with uh, Reginald, but uh, to me, th there's something confusing about returning the item to the affected item that is also the item that you're returning. So, so I liked to me this. <coughs> part, uh, yeah, and if you really wanted to, you could, for example, only only have one of them on non-modal pages and the other on modal pages or something like that. But um, but I don't think from a processing perspective, these things all happen so fast. Um, so let's recap. What, what components do, the, do people need to make this happen? What are the page zero components and what are the, the other ones? Really quickly. So from the top, uh, uh, your starting point is you have, um, the way we've done it, uh, we have two page zero hidden items, both of which are set to memory only storage. 
And then we've got two dynamic actions also on page zero. So the first one is um, listening for the dialogue closed event on the entire application. So the <coughs> expression of document. Mm -hmm. And when it hears um, the dialogue closed event, it's going to uh, do set value. So, and also I should mention, all of this is implied by the help provided and the uh, uh, dialogue return item on the in, in the um, modal dialogue. So this is not a lot of creative thinking here. This is implied by the Apex team. Yeah. So here in um, set value, there's a set type of dialogue return item, and you're going to return the item that you referenced in your modal dialogue in the close event. Uh, and then you pass the, um, the, the value. It could be to Virginal's point to the same thing. We've chosen to, to set it to another item, which in turn has a dynamic action against it that's listening for a change event. And when the result of that change event is, uh, is a not null message, it will show the value of that message using the, um, the Apex JavaScript API, apex.message shows page success. So zero. that's what you need on page zero. Mm -hmm. And then what you need on the form is um, a lot simpler and it's very standardized. Um, so if I were to go to, uh, I think page four was an example. Mm -hmm. So all you need here is um, uh, you need an additional process, which uh, you can generically set in every instance to Apex application G print success message. Mm -hmm. Right, just always that. and. And then again, in every instance, um, you would amend your closed dialogue event to return the item P0 success. And that will trigger the, um, uh, the set value event on, on page zero. Great, and often we publish our application somewhere. I think if you simply follow this, um, there's not even a need to publish it. This is just step, 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 step push these things through and people can do this. And, and I'll, I'll permit myself one. Right. Uh, yes, okay. I'll, I'll permit myself one more demo. So uh, the, the demo that we have of what message we're printing is not super compelling. I mean, who cares that we're printing record processed? Uh, where it becomes more compelling is when, um, for example, you're using a load from file um, uh, uh, Future. So if, if I'm loading a, um, a file using the Apex um, uh, declarative utility, uh, this will uh, this gives back very valuable information about how many records it processed, which you will lose if you don't do something about it. So if I load this data, this uh, is the, the G success, um, the, the G print success message. I, I didn't specially construct this. So you would lose this data if you, if you don't actively recover the success message. Yeah, that's a great, uh, yeah, I think that one is is more compelling uh, a reason that you really do want to do this for, you know, I think in almost all cases, this makes a lot of sense, right? But so ideally the Oracle team will, um, uh, the Oracle team will provide just a checkbox, but for early, for essentially many, many, many releases back, you can do this um, and until the Oracle team makes it available. Yeah. Um, so Hayden, um, I didn't give this yet, but I'm going to throw a URL into the uh, chat here. This is my XKCD of the week. If you want to share your screen and just bring it up, um, uh, then I can, uh, it, this is something that I, I come across all the time. Uh, and this is, <laughs> This is almost a daily event for me, but when I started this morning, there were a few edge cases I was confused about. But after researching it all day, I'm confused about the regular cases too. Um, and I have to say that has been, that has been the, the case of my week uh, this week. Um, uh, any particular examples come to mind? Well, I will say it has to do with um, trees. Um, and I don't mean uh, the kind that, you know, out in nature where you're walking along, but um, with hierarchical queries and all the the, um, the the things that happen with trees and when you have 
big trees um, um, that uh, have, you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of nodes and, and all these kinds of things. The more I dig into it, the more I, the, the more even, like, like I said, the, the regular cases become uh, challenging. So, um, but uh, maybe, maybe that'll resolve into an, another tip uh, before long. Well, once again, XKCD has um, some real wisdom to share. For sure. Um, well, that's all I have. Anything else for you? Uh, no. Um, uh, hopefully, in the near future, uh, we can announce your um, breadcrumb plugin that I know you're working on. Oh, yes. That is, uh, that's coming up as well. Um, well, I think we have at least four or five viewers this week. So... Uh, I hope everybody has a great week weekend, um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining. Have well, a good week.